Alright, so we're gonna start part 22 of Utaware Romono. I wondered where she'd take us, but I think this is the manner of the Imperial Guard of the Right. No doubt about it. We were just here yesterday to deliver Ruate's offerings. The gatekeeper gives us a hard stare, but eases up and bows his head when he sees Nekone approaching. Thank you for your service. We then pass through the gate as if it's routine for us, and follow Nekone through the corridor. Judging from the other day and how we were led here, is Ukon connected to this guy? This guy being Lord Oster of the Right? Is he the Right Guard? Nekone makes her way through the manor without hesitation and stops before a particular room. I have brought the two of them here. Enter. After Nekone calls out from just outside the door, a reply comes from within. We are coming in now. The room seems like a study. Um, several picture scrolls and books are organized and stacked as if to emphasize the simple, excuse me, the simple furnishings. And sitting at the far end of the room, huh? Oster himself? How good of you to come. The Imperial Guard of the Right, Oster-sama. It's that mysterious masked man, Oster, the Imperial Guard of the Right himself. Wait one second, why is he? Well, this is his manner, obviously, but what happened to Ukon? He's the guy who called us in. Lord Haku, Lady Kuon, thank you for your aid with the bandits. Allow me a formal introduction. I am Oshta. I'm sure you have questions regarding your sudden summons, but first, please have a seat. Nekone, some tea for our guest. Very well. Nekone bows to Oster and obediently leaves the room. So Nekone knew about this? Actually, I didn't even know that they knew each other. I sit myself down on the comfortable cushion, as Oster suggested. Are we to reintroduce ourselves as well, then? Excuse me. If you wish. However, I do not require it. I mean no discourtesy, but my reports already tell me much. Eh? Eh? Is it okay for me to be here too? If I'm in the way then... It is no trouble, especially since this concerns your father's request as well. From father? Yes, he asked that I ensure his daughter's welfare. Father asked. 
ウコンに呼ばれたかと思えばこの男がいてさらにはルルティにも関係していると I don't get it I thought ウコン called for us but here's this guy instead ナルアテイズ・インヴォーブ・トゥお茶をお持ちいたしましたです。I have brought the tea. ナカネ begins placing cups of tea on the table. And after she's arranged everything, she sits at Oster's side with a matter of fact expression. <sighs> There's something weirdly ceremonial or prim about all this. It's freaking me out. <sighs> she didn't seem to like being lumped in with the screaming girls. I guess this is why. I see.、Uh, this is quite good. Oh, yeah, she. It is very、uh, delicious. I pick up the cup placed before me and take a sip. Go a bitter. I almost spit it back out. What is this? It's really bitter. I can't help but furtively glance between my tea and everyone else's. Everyone seems to be enjoying theirs. Ah, well, we need to stick to the subject for now, anyway. So, what does the top brass want calling us out here? <laughs> As I expected, you do not care for roundabout discussions. Allow me to come straight to the point. I invited you here for one reason. It is my intent to become your patron. Patron? Does that mean you want to hire us? You may think of it that way if it pleases you. So you're asking us to be your subordinates? Correct. Correct. Although I would not wish so formal a hierarchy, I propose instead a partnership. A partnership? What does this mean? From what I heard, this guy is a pretty big deal. And a person like that wants to hire a bunch of nobodies like us? This seems incomprehensible in a lot of ways. Although it could be that he wants us to do his dirty work, or maybe he wants to use us as disposable pawns. But if that was his angle, then he wouldn't reveal his identity, right? I honestly have no idea what he's plotting. I exchange glances with Kuan. But Kuan remains silent, an amused smile on her face. I don't get why she isn't saying anything. Knowing Kuan, I figured she'd jump at the chance to start some cutthroat negotiation. Does this seem strange? Oster breaks the silence. 
This isn't just strange. It's too strange. Someone in your position should have plenty of pawns already. But here you are, inviting a bunch of strangers into your retinue. It'd be weird if we weren't suspicious. I'd think it's only natural we'd think you were plotting something. Uh oh. What? Don't give me that look, Nikone. It's not like I could help it. Hmm. I suppose it is only natural to reach such a conclusion, Lord Haku. I'm afraid you'll have to take me at my word, but I am not trying to set you up. For certain reasons, I've been looking for someone I can rely on. And I'm not looking for a simple subordinate. I'm looking for someone unaffiliated who will speak frankly and openly with me. Yet I could find no such confident. So when I consulted my friend regarding this matter, another partner, he recommended you. Oshter pauses a moment to sip his tea and continues talking. I have heard of your efforts in the extermination of the Gigiri and the suppression of the bandits. A fine apothecary of keen mind and reflex. A man whose strength aside has a quick wit and an odd charisma. I can understand the parts about Kuan, but I get the feeling I'm being overrated here. He has not been with you long, but he declares you reliable, that you withstood a mortal peril together. A friend? Ah, oh, right, Ukon. So that's what's going on here. Maro is most happy to vouch for you. I conclude that if he spoke true, there could be no mistake. Oh god. <laughs> it was Maro? Where did Ukon go? <sighs> ah, this tea is delicious. Kuan sips her tea without a care as she smiles. Though. Honestly, I figured I would have done it even without his say so. Oster grins. What the? His speech and his whole de demeanor failed totally different, but there's something familiar. What? You still haven't connected the dots? That's cold, man. And here I thought we were friends. What? So Oster and Ukon are the same guy? Uh-huh. Well, let me answer your other question, then. Where did Ukon go? That was it, right? With a smile on his face, Oster tousles his hair and dons another apparu. He pulls from somewhere. Then he puts his hand to his mouth, and in an instant, he's got a stubbly-looking beard. 
Then finally, he slowly removes the mask, covering his eyes. What? I'm right here. Ukon? <laughs> yeah, Ukon's my secret identity. And the real identity is Oster, the Imperial Guard of the Right. <laughs> Did Kuan know? I can hear Kuan's laughter from beside me as she tr tries in vain to stifle it. I look over to Kuan, shoulders shaking, mouth covered, and Rulatea looking between us, flustered. Don't tell me! So Kuan knew from the beginning, and by her expression, she was just enjoying watching this play out. I want to go back and rewatch some of the the previous battle, just to make sure that Ukon and Oster weren't ever in the same place, you know? Neck and A grumpily shoots a sidelong glance at Oster. And Nekone obviously knew as well. I guess she doesn't really approve of these shenanigans. Rilatea seems to be more perplexed by Kuan's laughter than actually surprised by this. Did you know about this as well, Rilatea? Huh? Oh, yeah, I was told about it in the very beginning. Oh god. What? The kid was the only one surprised. The miss he saw through it? Ah, I thought I had you. Ukon lets an obviously disappointed sigh out. So what gave it away? I was pretty confident in this disguise, you know? In fact, only a few people know about this. You were watching Nekone during the patrol, weren't you? Yeah, she looked like she was having a real good time with the kid. I couldn't help myself. No, no, I was not having fun with playing with him. I was trying to defend your honor. Sure, okay, I get it. You certainly do not get it. Those eyes. Those eyes that were watching Nekone, then. They were the same eyes as Ukon's. Yeah, um, well, uh, I see. And however beloved Oshir may be, I found it odd that Nekone would be so infatuated with him. It was almost like her attitude towards her older brother, and that made it all the more clear. <sighs> Cripes, you really are a sharp one, Missy. Uh, but we're getting off track here. So, you know I was granted the undeserved rank of the Imperial Guard of the Right by the Mikado. It 
If I say so myself, the Imperial Guard is an extremely important position. One whose duty is to protect the Mikado and the citizens of Yamato from all kinds of harm. Honestly, I have no idea how I got the job. Ukon scratches his head, looking comically bewildered for a moment. Of course, it comes with a huge amount of power. I can command entire armies if I have to. But that... But that means it's hard for me to move freely, what with my title. I get all this public attention. Which is why you're hiding your true identity like that. <sighs> you got it, Missy. I'm kind of paralyzed like this, or... Like, everything I do turns into a huge production. <sighs> you guys saw, right? I just wanted a quick look around the city and suddenly it's a damn parade. That is an obligation that befits your station. Yeah, true. I understand that. Really, I do, but I can't hear the voices of the people as Lord Oster. If I want to hear what the people are saying, just changing my appearance isn't going to cut it. Sometimes I have to go into shady places. Sometimes I end up having to deceive people. And I've got to be prepared to shoulder those crimes. So I needed another identity, one that can move freely by deceiving the public's eyes like this. So you're saying, now that you're famous, you can't partake in all the shady things you like to do? So you came up with this disguise as a way to let you keep having your illegal fun, is that right? <laughs> Have another cup of tea. Uh, oh, thanks. Splash. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. <laughs> why, why that little? She just flew and dumped hot water on my head. Here are some crumpets to go with your tea. Stab. Mega, mega, my, my eyes, I can't see. <laughs> the crumpets are in my eyes. I flail helplessly on the floor. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, you little brat? Ah, uh, would you like some more? By all means, here you are. That serves you right for insulting my dear brother. What the heck did you do that for? And what's with these weird accusations? Who is the one who suggested my dear brother was partaking in suspicious activities? That would be us. 
My dear brother would never lower himself to such base indecency. How do you decide what's decent and what's not? And your brother isn't indecent, you say. But of course, my dear brother would never be driven by such impure impulses. That's ridiculous. There's no way a man wouldn't think in decent thoughts. That's just delusional. A man or a woman, the three primal desires will not be de denied. I declare triumphantly, sternly pointing at her from the floor. I hear some snickering. Three primal desires? Thank you. <laughs> what, you don't know? The desire for sleep, food, and sex. Nobody can possibly escape them. <laughs> Taken aback, Nekone's face turns several shades redder. She's trying to muster a comeback, but it seems she's at a loss for words. You blushed when you saw Oster earlier, right? That's no different from an extension of your desire. Wait, what? Oster and Ukon are the same person, so holy crap. He's your brother and your... J just saying, that's kind of messed up. Dear brother, this simply will not do. It is no good. A man of such despicable character is no good. Aww. Though it seems Rulatea is trying to stop her. Ukon, quit laughing and stop her. Oh boy, what a shock. Nekone is usually so shy, I never thought she'd get attached this fast. I'm not attached to him. What could, what could possibly have given you that impression? Look, level with me. Are you blind? I believe I told you not to speak ill of my brother. She begins another assault with the boiling water in the teapot. That's hot. Would you stop that? And you quit laughing and help. Ha ha ha. That really got me. Nakone, give it a rest, huh? The kid's an important guest, after all. Alright, so I'm gonna save. So, episode 23 coming up next. It's not a whole lot yet happening, but a big revelation that Ukon and um, Oster the same man. I did not see that coming, so if anybody did, well, pat yourself on the back. 
I wasn't paying enough attention to realize they could be the same man. Alright, I'll see you next time. This is Green Kirby. Signing off.